I'm going to show you how to access WIDA score reports for students. There are two ways that you do this, and I'm going to show you both. The first, both are accessed through data dashboard. So first thing, log into your data dashboard. Make sure you're showing the current year, and then you're going to come in and say what years you want. I like to look at only one year. We're not going to look at this year's data because the WIDA access will not be there for this year. Those tests are given in January and February. We don't get them to the following year. So I'm only going to access 22, 23, unless I was going to be exporting this data, and but it just gets too big. So I look at one year, and then I choose my student options, and I come over and I choose multilingual learner codes. I want to toggle that to green. And then test to graph, I want to graph the weeded tests. I want to graph the composite, and I want to see their listening, speaking, reading, and writing scores. So I'm going to toggle all of those because it gives me information about their strengths and areas of growth. So once I've picked my student option and my test to graph, then I scroll down and it creates these graphs for me. The first thing I want to do is make it so that I only see my multilingual learners. It's kind of already giving me that, but when I give down to the students, I want to only see them. So I'm going to click on yes, and then it changes my data to only show me those students. So the graphs give me an overview. Here's my composite score. Here's where they fell. Here's listening, and here's where they fell. What I like to do is I like to come down and view the um, actual report down here gives me all the information. Their names have been removed for the demo, but your names will show up here. So I can see all of my classes composite scores right here, and I can sort that by low to high or high to low if I'd like. And then I can see their breakdown. So if I look at this student right here, it has a 2.8 overall composite score which means he's not proficient in English yet. A proficiency score is a 4.2 with a speaking of a 3.5. So essentially, once they reach that four, typically they're proficient in English and we just monitor them. So what I wanna do is dive into this student. He's a 2.8, but look at his listening. His listening is a six, so he is very proficient in listening. But his reading is a 1.8, his speaking is a 1.8, and his writing is a 3. So his two highest scores are listening and writing. I want to dive in more and see more about this student. So I click on his student number, and now it's going to dive me into that individual port. Again, it's not going to show his name because I've hidden that. So I come down here to his actual down below and where it says portfolio attachments. It's the second tab and down I have WIDA access report. I have it for 22, 23. When I continue over, I can see that I also have it for 22 and, and that's the only years I have it for. So when I click view, which I've already done to load up here, it downloads it and here is his individual report. So this is the individual report for that student, which shows me what I saw there, but now it's just an individual. And these are also what are um, sent home and what you can show at SCP conferences. So it shows me that he's a 6.0. His speaking and reading are both very basic. But why I like to also get the year before is I can look at where he came from. So look at last year, the year before that, he was at a 3.6, and now he's at a 6.0. So his listening has come up. How can I use that? And so that's why I want to dive into there's just a little bit more. And then down below, it says at that proficiency, here's some things that they can be able to do. So he is completely proficient in listening. When you speak to him in English, he gets all of that information. So, but he is lower in these areas. And what the next step I like to take, once I've looked at their individual reports, is I like to dive into the WIDA proficiency descriptors, which I've also linked in the knowledge base. That if I know their speaking is one, here's what I'm gonna try and get them to do. I know that they should be able to do this once they've mastered this. I know where to push them. 
when I look at the, only the student report, I only know where they are. I don't know where they're going. So that's why I like to look at both. So that is how I look at, for both of my ways. I look at it as an entire class here, or I dive into the stu, I can look at a whole class, or I can dive into a student's and find individual student's report.